Right, uh, excuse me, I got something wrong. The North Star doesn't move up and down throughout the year. Although, <laughs> I thought it did. I swear, because I can see, when I go out the back, I can see the North Star. And I promise you, I've seen it like this far above the bungalow out there. Not, it's not actually a bungalow. And I've seen it up there. I swear I have. This is crazy, but I think maybe what I've done, in the sense that how I find the North Star, is look at the Big Dipper and the last two stars on that, draw a line and there's the star. So maybe what I've done is sometimes when the Big Dipper has flipped all the way around and is upside down sort of thing, you have to look quite low to then find the North Star up. Just recently, last time I saw the stars out, I could see the Big Dipper up on that side the other way up, actually then then it was upside down and finding the North Star pointing down. Oh, I'm sure I've... Sh this is one of these Mandela things. Anyway, <clears throat> according to the internet, North Star doesn't move up and down. No, I thought it did. <laughs> so, I will I have to update this when I've seen the stars a few more times. Appalling knowledge we have of the stars because bloody street lights. Um so I thought to but it still doesn't fully explain the current orbit why the um changes in day length is so so dramatically different um in the spring and autumn compared to the summer and winter and yeah so that remains um, a question and there's really very little on the internet you'd think there'd be some decent 3D models but they don't explain the phenomenon phenomenon like this one blog post showed how it flattened out the stars and showed how the gradient was differed but, like I said, it's over 30 times the amount of difference, so... Anyway, because it's inconsequential, really. I don't even know why I'm talking about it, sorry. Because so much more interesting things are coming. This is the week of the anything is possible. It really is. And it's... Feeling good, boom, 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 boom. It's a new day, it's a new way, and I'm feeling good. Anyway, all right. So. We got this, um, the event, yeah, which everyone says it's not really one event, it's happening, it's coming more and more. It feels good, you know, and you've, you've got to be there and ready to take some when it comes. Do lots of meditating and feeling. Open your heart. Open up your heart. Open up your heart. Let love come running in, darling. Love, sweet love, darling. Love. Strike the hammer while 
The iron is hot. Strike the hammer while the iron is hot. Open up your heart. Open up your heart. Let love come running in, darling. Love, sweet love, darling. You know, you know, you know, you knew. Um, you are, you exist, you are a being, you've had Many, 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 many lives. <laughs> many, 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 many. But maybe only one or two as a human who is actually aware of yourself. And for a large part of the population of humanity over the years have been brainwashed in order to work every day for somebody else so they've not been allowed that awareness in a sense they've not been educated as to what and who they are and we've had a lot of blind leading the blind but we've had a lot of perhaps we've had some of illuminated keeping others unilluminated but um, people are waking up, people are becoming illuminated as to what they are and it's having great ramifications because it's the soul which dominates. Reach into the soul and they will change if change is what they need and you are helping them. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, you know, if you want to affect somebody, reach into their soul and use love. But you've got to change yourself first, right? You've got to sort yourself out first, and we've all got work to do in that. But when you have ability to give, give, because giving is nice, and love begets love. And we're all in it together. Love everybody. God loves everybody. So set that as your target. And me too. I'm talking to myself. Stephen, I love everybody. That's a superpower. And we're bringing it in, okay? I had a major, major, major. Well, I've had it. I've been there before, but I can't choose when I get to this strength of feeling that I forget my body and the earth but I'm still connected to everybody you're all there you see we're all there when you go into that mode so you don't lose the connections with everybody you just Lose your, lose the earth, lose your body, you're there, you're your soul, that's you. You are in your, you are in your core, in here, not behind here. That brings on the feelings. Because also in there is your connection to your mother and father. Who, by the way, the connection with the one love, the eternal tree of life thing all comes through our mother and father we're com com totally contained within our mother and father like a black hole is in within a universe if you went into that black hole that'd be another universe well that's you and your soulmate Together, you and your soulmate, 
suspend a universe that you would be able to explore. You're eternal. You're eternal, baby, yeah! <laughs> right. So, yes, the event, you know, it is, the stuff is happening. God's kingdom is coming. Very, very, very soon. It's here already. It's limbs and its roots is here. <laughs> but I thought this would be a good time of year for it to happen. If there was something mightily strong going to happen. There have been some cracks opening up in Kenya and other places and mud volcanoes and where quite a lot of things happened the last couple of weeks like that it's cooking up for this final shift maybe but it's just a good time of year because we've got males and females at a similar level we're very very close to crossing we'll be crossing probably on the 23rd, 24th of March and men will then be going up and women down and there'll be this growing divide between women and men up until about sept well, September equinox roughly depending on where the moon is and then it will start coming together again but um, interestingly because the moon's crossing point is on the 25th I think and the year's crossing point is on the 22nd. So that's very, very close. So the, the overall crossing point, depending on which day we're on, is an even day. So yeah, like, probably 12 o'clock on the 22nd. 12 o'clock midday. Anyway. You're talking splitting hairs at this point, you know, sort of how up and down we are. Right at this point, we're very, very close. So, yeah, any day now, you know, would be a, seem appropriate to do it at a time when women and men are very close together. So, yeah. And meditate and be happy is what you're... It's what you want. You want to be happier now and forever. But it's always now. <laughs> and there's no rush, no panic. You know, we're, we're eternal beings. So things will happen in their own proper time and way. And you can't force it. You can't anticipate it. Depend on God alone. And remember... Anything is possible. Ciao for now.